Hi everyone, welcome to the 0 to 1 code. In this session, we are going to learn about the data raptors and moreover, we will be talking about the overview of the data raptors and then in the further sessions, we will be going deep down into the each of the data raptor. In a context, data raptor is being used for to get the data from the Salesforce or update or insert in data into the Salesforce or you can transform the data. So we have four kind of uh, data raptors in the in the Omni Studio. But before that, let's see how where we can find out the data raptors into the Omni Studio. So uh, if you go to the Omni Studio app, then you will see uh, a bunch of tool set here. In this, you are going to select the data raptors. Once you select the data raptors, you will be seeing a uh, pre-created data raptors here into the system. So you can create your new data raptor, you can import your data raptors. So import and export is a pretty impressive uh, functionality that we have here. It is uh, basically provided into the multiple uh, kind of tools. Like if you go to the OmniScript, uh, IPs, integration procedure, you can see the import export functionality there. But let's see how it works with the data raptors. So you click on the data raptors and you export it. So it will take a few seconds. You see the data raptor is coming here and you need to press the next again. So it will ask you the if you if you want to rename it, right? So I will give it a like uh, sample account search one. So you are going to click on the done. Once you do, once you do the done, it will actually download the data raptor in a JSON format or JSON file. So you can provide this JSON file to any of your uh, like other team member. They can utilize the same data raptor. Right, even though they are in the different talk, what they need to do is like they need to just go to the like import from import button here. They will go there and then they will click the import. So select the file, click the next, then it will show you the like what will be the uploaded. So as we downloaded the same file uh, and it is already there, so it will be imported again, but it will be updated as a new one. So we have covered the import export the data adapter. Now let's see how many data raptors do we have into this Omni Studio? So if we go here, we can see that we have four types of data raptors in this, right? So first, which is required like uh, putting out your uh, data raptor name. And then you are going to select the what kind of interface type, right? So if you are from the like Salesforce background and if you are from like the admin or uh, developer, you can relate this extract and turbo extract as a SOKL of the system. Load will be your DML, which can insert and update the records. It can be a single record, it can be multiple record. And transform is like a special a data raptor, which actually does not bring any data from the Salesforce, neither it insert the data into the Salesforce or update the data into the Salesforce. So in extract, and a turbo extract, as I said, it's a SQL. So let's see uh, what will be the turbo extract example. So I'm considering a query, which is select ID first name from contact. Okay. So this is your single query, right? If you, if you have single query, you can utilize the turbo extract. Uh, even though you can access the parent object field, like if you want to access account.name, that's also doable into the uh, your turbo extract data raptors. But if you want to query the child records as well, for example, you want to query the accounts and you want to carry all the child cases and contacts in it, then you need to utilize the extract uh, data raptors here. And then we have the load. Load is basically, as I said, load, load is basically utilized for the inserting the data into the Salesforce or updating the data into the Salesforce. It cannot uh, delete this uh, data into the Salesforce. To delete the data, uh, we need to utilize the uh, integration procedures or Omni scripts, but you can insert or you can update the data using the load. Then we have fourth transform. So once we go to the um, transform, 
right we can see there we have two types of um, input and output right so you can have your json as an input and you want to transform the inner, that data into the xml that's totally doable right as we move forward you will see that we will have a requirement or implementation where we need to uh, create pdfs right so that's also doable so what you do what you are doing here is like you are providing the your json data it can be like contact data and based on the field mapping this data raptor will bind all the data into the PDF. so that's what we have as a data raptor and we will cover each of the data raptor in detail in our next videos that's